Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we'll be taking a look at four systems spec'd out in a range of prices from somewhere in the region of the mid 500s to the uh, upper 600s, based all around the Radeon RX 6500 XT. Now, obviously, some of you are not going to like this card a great deal, but as I've said in streams, reviews, unboxings, etc., at the moment on the market, it's pretty much all that we've got. And as you can see, looking at Overclockers UK here, there are at least 10 plus in stock of this particular card. And the same is reflected in quite a lot of retailers at the moment. So in reality, it's something that you can actually buy. It will play 1080p games at reasonably good resolutions and settings. Again, as we've shown in some of our footage already. So if you are considering buying or building a new PC at the moment, uh, mostly here in the United Kingdom, but obviously, it will translate somewhat into other countries, but obviously the exchange rates will be out slightly. But this is my guidance to you based around four different systems. We're going to be doing an AMD based system. We're going to be doing a Intel based system. Then we're going to do a compromises system. So this is basically for those of you on a lower budget, but you just want to get gaming. And also we'll take another look at another AMD system, but using a slightly different combination which might actually be a benefit to you and potentially could save you some money. So let's get straight into it. We're going to go over to the saved parts list over at PC Part Picker. And the first one we've got here is going to be the Intel one. So if I scroll down, you can see, so we've got the AMD build, Intel build, the AMD core match system, which I'll explain later, and we've got our compromises build. So let's go straight in with the Intel build. So just to kind of um, ground everybody to what is going on, mostly, it's all gonna be the same from these parts, so the bottom half. So our RAM is gonna be the same across all four. Our storage is gonna be the same across all four. Again, the same video card, power supply, and the case. So clearly, if you want to change any of those items for something either smaller, larger, different shape, size, format, whatever, you're more than welcome to do. But these are parts which I found, which for me personally at the moment, I believe to be some of the best value parts on the market. So anyway, with that said, let's take a look at the processor. So we're starting off with the Intel Core i3-12100F. This is a 3.3 gigahertz quad-core processor with hyper-threading. Currently, at the moment, pretty good deals here in the UK at just over £100 in most retail stores. And we're going to be pairing that with an ASRock B660M HDV Micro ATX motherboard. The case is a full-size tower, or at least an ATX tower. So there is going to be a little bit of a gap, so it's not going to look great but I think most people can probably overlook that. Motherboard wise, if we take a, a closer look at it, you can see there's nothing particularly fancy there. It is limited. It's not a particularly good idea to be upgrading this to higher end processors as time goes on. But certainly as things stand, this is probably the best value for money in terms of what is available on that particular platform at the moment. RAM wise, it was a Crucial Ballistic 16 gig kit. DDR4 3200, that's going to be absolutely fine. Western Digital 1 terabyte SN 550, again, 1 terabyte of NVMe storage is absolutely fine. And we'll take advantage of some of the PCI Express bandwidth available on the motherboard. Graphics card, obviously the Sapphire Radeon RX 6500 XT, which you can see the full review of up in the card in the top right hand corner. Power supply wise, EVGA BQ 500 watts, so this is a bronze certified semi-modular. £35 at the moment here in the UK, which I think is a pretty decent deal. Again, if you find something better or you want to maybe get something a little bit more future-proof, certainly you can do that and adjust the prices accordingly. Case-wise, we've gone with the Game Max Stealth, which actually, nice little case, very cheap and cheerful, but has pretty much the same layout as the Lian Li 215 and also Game Max's own F15, which have both proven to be extremely popular. Also, very similar design to that of the Neutron Labs cases here in the UK from ebuyer.com. Again, this is about £30, so really nice case for the money. Definitely worth a look. So with that all said, excluding other things like keyboard, mouse, monitor, etc., and obviously a Windows license, we're coming in at just a shade under £600 here at £598 and four pence. Now, clearly, I will leave some links for this in the video description below. The prices will fluctuate a little bit, but this is what the prices are as of today, which is the very last day of January, 2022. So that's the Intel version done. Let's take a look now and see what we can do if we go AMD. So with the AMD build, we've uh, we've added actually 
a considerable amount of money. Now this is actually due to parts actually being available. The bulk of our price here is gonna be on the processor. So we've got a Ryzen 5 5600X. This is a much faster processor, not only in terms of just raw gigahertz, but in processing overall. It's a really good processor. It's a six core as opposed to a quad core. So we are getting more for our money. Whether or not it's worth it, that is gonna be down to the individual. Now pairing with that, we've gone for a relatively inexpensive motherboard, MSI's B550M Pro VDH. This actually will allow you a little bit of overclocking. Not a great deal. The VRMs are slightly weak, but not as weak as the ones on the previous Intel board, which was a locked board, which would not allow you to do any overclocking at all. Also benefits, we've got four slots for RAM as opposed to the two on the previous. We do have two M.2 slots, etc. So yeah, not a bad little board and we'll certainly get the job done. So processor and motherboard, that is gonna be the bulk of our costs. We're actually saving a little bit of money on the motherboard, but obviously we have had to spend a lot more because there's no 5000 series processors on the market available for less than this. But we'll be remedying that later on when we take a look at our core matched version. So all the rest of the parts are exactly the same, same case, etc., etc. So we're coming out at 707. So we're about 110 pounds more if we wanted to go down the AMD route. So let's take a look now at the third one. So this is our core match system. So what we're doing in this, we're actually gonna go for a used processor from CEX here in the UK. If I click on this tab here, you can see, so the Ryzen 3 3100, four cores, eight threads, which is matching that of the Intel, albeit obviously IPC performance is gonna be a little bit less, but certainly for gaming, this is gonna be absolutely fine. At the moment, they are selling these for £105, which uh, actually, when I first started putting this video together, they were at £120 used. So they've actually dropped £15, which is actually a pretty decent saving. So this is actually making things, in my mind, considerably better. So with that taken into account, we've also gone for the same motherboard because we do want our PCI Express Gen 4 lanes available for the Sapphire Radeon RX 6500 XT, which will rely heavily on that PCI Express Gen 4 times 4 bandwidth, which is available to it. So with all that said, we've uh, we've saved a little bit more money. We've actually come in so far as being the cheapest version here at £572.89. Still under that £600 mark for essentially a fully fledged gaming PC, which will do 1080p relatively well. Massive caveat there, I did say relatively. So let's take a look at our compromises build. So this is if you basically have not got a pot to uh, what's it in, you're very limited on funds and you need to save as much as possible. So this is gonna let you do virtually the same thing, but just over the 500 pounds market, 531.05. Now this is a compromise. So we have got a Intel processor. We're going with the Core i3. This is the 10105F, 3.7 gigahertz quad core processor with hyper thread in. These are amazing value for money at the moment. It's 75 pounds here in the UK. We've paired it up with uh, one of the cheaper boards on the market, MSI's H510M-A Pro. Again, similar kind of deal. A very strange looking board, actually. It looks like someone's gone a bit crazy on the traces and tracks, and etc. Very busy looking, but it's a reasonable VRM, no heat sinks on it, and only two RAM slots. But again, we are saving as much money as possible. Other limitations are, this is LGA 1200, and it is a H510 chipset, so we're gonna be limited to PCI Express Gen 3, which is gonna hurt that graphics card. And also, in terms of hurting, we've only got a single M.2 slot for drives. There is an M.2 slot here, but this is only for add-on Wi-Fi cards, that kind of stuff. So don't think of putting a drive in here because it physically will not work. So yeah, limited to one M.2 drive. We do have SATA ports, uh, again, not many, only four. So you can add SATA drives should you wish to. It's a very limited affair, but we are potentially saving some money here. So that's the processor and the motherboard, which combined to two, you're looking at somewhere in the region of about 150 pounds. Then we've got our standard fare with the rest. So we've got our RAM, NVMe storage, our graphics card, and I feel is a pretty decent power supply for this kind of level of system. And again, the case is, uh, for me, is one of the highlights. It really is a brilliant little case. You do get an awful lot for your money. So there we go, there are the four systems. So if we're going with the AMD build, we're looking at just a shade over 700 pounds. We do get a lot of performance for that. We go with the Intel version, just a shade under 600 pounds. Again, still pretty decent value for money, not a great deal of future proofing. 
obviously 12th gen is out now 13th gen is around the corner so yeah who knows what's going to happen there the core match system if you don't mind going down the second hand route on the processor which i feel actually for me personally if i was going to do one of these systems i would probably go with this one i think for me this in terms of value and flexibility does offer you a lot and of course when those ryzen 5s and ryzen 7s drop down in price you will be able to drop one of those on the pro vdh board with uh, very little hassle so it's a pretty flexible motherboard there going for the compromises build i think this for me personally is what i would potentially avoid but i do appreciate 100 percent there are people out there that have not got an abundance of cash and don't want to spend the extra but realistically saying that between 530 pounds and go into our core match system for that extra 40 pounds we are getting a lot for our money we're getting somewhere in the region of up to 10 percent improvement in performance on the graphics card and a lot more flexibility and arguably a better motherboard and all of this just because of this graphics card having to make us make decisions that we don't necessarily want to have to make but that is what it is currently here at the end of january 2022 so i think that's going to wrap this one up hopefully you've enjoyed this and has given you some food for thought let us know in the comments section what your thoughts are what changes you'd make would you even go down this route would you just hold it out a little while see what happens with the rtx 3050 is that going to be available at a decent price anytime soon here in the uk i fear it won't be but who knows maybe you double up on the price and go with an rx 6600 for somewhere in the region of about 450 pounds you're going to get doubled performance but you're going to be paying double the price so yeah it is very much swings and roundabouts anyway let us know what you think in the comments section but for now i've been mike this is mike's unboxing reviews and how to and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video thanks for watching